Hello, I'm Helen Palmer and I work for the BALH as the Outreach Officer in Wales. But that's only a voluntary position and my everyday job is as an archivist. I'm the County Archivist in Ceredigion, which is the county around Aberystwyth, um, Cardigan to the south, uh, which used to be known as Cardiganshire. And I want to tell you a bit about being an archivist and about archives and about the county record offices and why you should use them. Uh, I'm sure many of you will have used archives many times and have visited very many archives and record offices, but some of you may still have that treat in store. And I really would recommend that one of these days you go along to your county record office and see what's there. I like my history first hand and that means looking at the original documents which recorded it at the time. Um, I'm actually working from home today so uh, these documents here are part of the family collection <laughs> but I've treated them as an archivist really would. Um, they're very very carefully preserved and conserved in special polyester um, coverings which incidentally if you have your own records at home I would very much recommend that you invest in because with history any archival material is precious. Um, books are wonderful things but books are always printed and published in multiple editions often whereas with archives we get just the one chance to preserve it. So there is a huge responsibility on archivists but on anybody and everybody that has original records in their possession to look after them really really carefully. There was a joke when I was an archive student. We used to have a t-shirt which said, archivists make it last longer. But actually, you know, that, that joke has some truth in it. Um, my job is to preserve documents and equally importantly, to make them available for people to use. So um, what we've got here actually is some amazing letters written by my own great grandfather, um, who was... Um, a painter of ships in the dockyard at Portsmouth and also a painter of the portrait of ships. So we have some beautiful paintings that he left behind him. Um, but that's really not what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, if you come to an archive, you will expect to look at original documents. Never ever feel embarrassed or unsure about asking an archivist for help. They have trained specifically to help you. So it would be a terrible waste of the profession if you didn't go in and ask for some help. Often now, usually now, you'll find that the catalogues of a record office or archives are available online. So you can have a sneak preview at the kind of documents that you might be um, hoping to see when you get there. The catalogue will be probably just that. Um, although increasing numbers of documents are digitised, an awful lot of them aren't. And sometimes now we see people who say, well, it's all online, isn't it? And they're thinking of the subscription sites, um, Ancestry.com, Find My Past, uh, primarily um, genealogical sites. And those are fantastic. They are absolutely brilliant. And they've brought um, first hand history um, into the home. So they're marvellous but they're not the end of the story. There are still loads and loads of archival sources which you can only see by visiting a record office. Oh, and here is my cat come to help me, thank you. Um, so if you go to a record office, they will probably ask you for some details, your name, address, you know, don't be offended. Uh, the security of the archives is very, very important. And we ask the same thing of, of everybody. And then, you will be told very, very firmly, you must never ever use a pen. Um, most of you will probably be taking your laptops and your cameras and your phones along uh, to record any information that you find. But if not, what we archivists still do is to go equipped everywhere with a 2B pencil. Something you get when you qualify as an archivist. And 
what archivists do, as I've said, is to make documents available to the public. And we do that by preserving them, as I've said, by already by, by, by making sure that they're packaged appropriately and by creating catalogues which explain exactly what that document is about, who created it, when they created it, maybe what it was created for. Because, of course, just because a document was created for one purpose doesn't mean to say that we might not use it for all sorts of different purposes. Um, the census, I mean, a document everybody's familiar with, that was created to help government to work out how it needed to use and provide for the people of Britain. But of course we use it as a genealogical source, we use it as a local history source, we use it to find out um, what professions were in an area, uh, maybe what professions weren't mentioned, although they must have been present in an area. Um, we can use it to see how buildings, which we know today, were used back then. It's got all sorts of potential uh, that wasn't originally envisaged, and that's true of a lot of documents. So the catalogues are really, really important, and I spend a lot of my time creating those. I also spend a lot of my time helping members of the public to figure out puzzles. The past is full of puzzles, and that's one of the great privileges and um, really enjoyable things about the job. Somebody will walk into the archives and they'll say, I want to know this thing. I want to know about this person. I want to know about the house I live in. And part of my job is then to help them to find the right documents to answer the puzzle. A gentleman came into the archives a couple of weeks ago he lives in a particular house in Aberystwyth and he'd never been into an archive before, like some of you may be. And we managed to find him the plan of his house that was built in 1903 and who built it. And then we did some exploring to find out why that man wanted to build that house back in 1903. And he, the gentleman who was visiting left with a narrative, well, he left with far more than he expected, a picture of his house in the days before it actually existed. That's just one little example, but archives are full of thousands and thousands and thousands of documents. Every, every record office has them. And each one of those documents has been retained for posterity on the basis that somebody will find its contents interesting and that somebody could be you. So I heartily recommend you to go along to your archives and find out. Bye bye.